Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of ectopic thyroid gland. A six-year-old female patient came with anterior right paramedian mid-neck swelling. It is gradually increasing in size without any pain. The TSH level is slightly increased. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the high frequency ultrasound view of the anterior mid neck. On transverse section, you can see there is no detectable thyroid tissue at the thyroid bed. You can see these are the common carotid arteries. This is the trachea in the midline. You can see the strap muscle over here. And there is no thyroid parenchyma posterior to these muscles. So we looked around to see the thyroid gland, but we couldn't find. Rather, we can see a well-defined oval area at the right paramedian region above the thyroid level, which took our attention. So here's the lesion and you can see the echogenicity and echotexture is similar to the normal thyroid parenchyma. But this heterogeneous texture with internal tiny cystic spaces like appearance is similar to the thyroiditis patient. So we are expecting this lesion to be an ectopic thyroid gland but you have to prove this. You can easily go through histopathologic evaluation or thyroid scan but on ultrasound you can detect it also. Here's another view and now you can see this lesion over here which is isogeic to the normal thyroid echogenicity. The lesion is well defined with an echogenic capsule surrounding it. Another view of the lesion. As this lesion is showing internal heterogeneous texture, we need to put some color Doppler to evaluate the parenchyma. Here's the picture, you can see the measurement, it's around 15 mm by 8 mm and on color Doppler you can see a good amount of vascularity within the parenchyma. Now we want to take some sample from this internal flow. When we took sample from this internal vascularity, you can see monophysic flow with good amount of flow on diastole. This type of flow pattern is similar to the thyroid arteries. We are expecting this lesion to be a thyroid lesion and to prove it on ultrasound, you can easily detect the supplying artery. If it is a thyroid lesion at this level, it should get supply from the thyroid arteries. So it's easy for us in comparison to the other location of the ectopic thyroid. So let's put some Doppler and now on Doppler with low PRF setting you can see very good amount of vascularity within this thyroid gland but we are not focusing on the internal vascularity right now we are focusing on the supplying vessel. So moving the probe slightly downward you can see the lesion is getting supply from this vessel. This vessel lies just lateral to the trachea it is medial to the common carotid artery. So this is the location for the inferior thyroid artery. So the vessel you are looking at is the right inferior thyroid artery. So this is supplying the lesion and it is definitely a very prominent vessel. Here is another view and you can see this right inferior thyroid artery is giving a good amount of supply to the lesion indicating the lesion to be an ectopic thyroid. Here is the flow, you can see the lesion is getting supply from the inferior thyroid artery on the right side and the velocity is more than 25 cm per second which is within the range of thyroiditis also. 
Now, what about the superior thyroid artery? Unfortunately, I forgot to save the video of the superior thyroid artery, but here is the measurement. You can see from the superlateral aspect, the superior thyroid artery is entering into the thyroid gland and giving a very good supply with a peak systolic velocity of 48 centimeter per second. So both thyroid arteries are giving more than 25 centimeter per second of flow, which is a feature of thyroiditis also. Fortunately, this patient went through a histopathologic evaluation before that also showed lymphocytic thyroiditis. Here is the picture of the thyroid bed showing no thyroid tissue here and just superior to it, you can see the ectopic thyroid gland at the right paramedian anterior neck. So, in summary, there is no thyroid tissue within the thyroid bed. The visible swelling at the anterior right paramedian midneck corresponds to an oval well-defined area which is capsulated and isoechoic to the normal thyroid gland echogenicity but heterogeneous in echotexture. Color Doppler shows prominent internal vascularity arising from the right superior and inferior thyroid arteries indicating the lesion is an ectopic thyroid gland. Also the features of vascular flow represents thyroiditis on the background. Now the take home message, ectopic thyroid refers to the thyroid tissue located outside its normal anatomical position whereas accessory thyroid refers to an extra thyroid tissue located remotely from a normal position thyroid gland. That means this is actually the bonus one. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends and invite them to subscribe our channel. This will be a great support for us to make more videos for you. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.